tell me um, what your what you think uh, Paul Ryan's going to do for the ticket. Oh, I think I think Paul Ryan is tremendous for the ticket. He, mm-hmm. He's uh, added a lot of value, and he, he's, he's had the courage over the course of his congressional career to really provide real solutions, and not only offer those solutions, but build coalitions around those solutions. And he said there are some tough decisions that need to be made, and he's identified a plan for America that is in complete contrast with that of President Obama. He's gone toe-to-toe with the President and won every engagement he's ever had with the President. So I'm very excited about it. Paul Ryan being you know, a part of this ticket. I think he's been extraordinary. Vice President. He's been an extraordinary member of the House and Chairman of the Budget Committee, but he's provided real solutions, made the tough uh, decisions, mm-hmm. but I think, I think he's extraordinary. You know, extraordinary I, think, I think it's challenging, and tell me what you think. Uh, you know, Medicare and all the talk about the budgets, it can't be complicated, but I think he's doing a good job of, of simplifying it. Well, I, I think this is what we have as a, as a ticket for the Republican Party. We have a presidential candidate who's been successful at everything he's ever Attempted, whether it was the Olympics, whether it was the governor, whether it was his private sector career, and uh, efforts like you know, Staples are in existence because Mitt Romney was involved in that success story. So we've got a presidential candidate who's been successful in everything he's done. We now have a vice presidential candidate who knows the intricacies of the federal budget. But the most important thing about that is you can then translate that into real policy solutions. And so you've now got to take it up one success story paired with another success story that fundamentally understands the conditions we face mm-hmm. from the congressional perspective. And that pairing, I think, will be greater than the, the two parts. And that's the exciting thing I, that I feel right now is that you've got a, a ticket now with on the management side, the private sector side, the, the you know, charitable side on, on one context. and and. Uh, Paul Ryan, who has dedicated his life to finding solutions to make this country more prosperous and fundamentally stronger from an economic point of view, mm-hmm. it is an extraordinarily powerful project. Right. Let's hope, let's hope the American people to. get it. Well, they will. I think they will. <laughs> Good. You've you seen the polls now. Mm-hmm. You've seen the contrast now between you know, Vice President Biden's uh, record and, 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 and that of, of, mm-hmm. uh, Vice, uh, of Congressman uh, Congressman Ryan's. You've seen the contrast between this president's uh, failed policies and those of Mitt Romney's successful policies. Mm-hmm. You've seen uh, Obama, when he was legislator, abstained 140 some odd times mm-hmm. versus Ryan, who said, "This you can't abstain on America's future. Right. You've got to be there to make a difference." And it's a great contrast from the, from the first person on the ticket to the second person on the ticket from their counterparts, and I'm very excited about the Republican tickets. Yeah. Let's move on to Governor Christie. Uh, is it exciting? I know your father talks about when he was 14, he knocked on his door and said, you know, teach me what right. what you know about politics. Um, what were your thoughts last night? And, um, or what are, what are your, let's move it ahead of okay. last night. What, what do you think Governor Christie's going to do for the state of New Jersey with this national profile? Well, it can only be good for New Jersey. People are talking about New Jersey in a good context. For the last decade, people talked about the 115 tax and free increases in a bad way. They talked about failed governorships from McGreevy to Gorzine. And now they're turning the corner and saying, wait, there's a New Jersey, you know, not only a New Jersey future, but an American future that is based in New Jersey. And it's, it's a focus of innovation, it's a focus of excitement, it's a focus of saying we can make a decision and make a difference in people's lives. Mm-hmm. That's, ex- that's a wonderful contrast to what people view in New Jersey over the course of the last decade. Is he going to be able to move, the, uh, move, move us closer to being uh, a red state? <laughs> We're working on that every day. Okay, we are too. Great. All right, thanks a lot. Thank nice you. to see you. Be safe.